Hi friends, Prepared to Verbal Night back with you. Well, today is Monday, August 5th, and I believe that we are entering one of the most consequential weeks that we have seen in a long, long time. The wars and rumors of wars, the uh, um, situation that's going on in the stock market right now, Hurricane Debbie um, making landfall just earlier today. Um, all this is starting to add up to be one of the big reasons that we need to be prepared. I'll be right back. So my take on this um, is this is truly one of the most consequential weeks I think we're facing, uh, we have been facing in quite a long time. It's my understanding by just looking at some of the uh, news headlines this morning that the uh, uh, White House um, security folks are meeting in the Situation Room. And that's not a good sign. Um, it's also my understanding from taking a look at the, the news that uh, Vice President Kamala Harris has been pulled off the uh, uh, campaigning trail and uh, she's in attendance or will be in attendance in this uh, meeting of the um, security advisors, national defense folks, all that with President Biden and uh, Vice President Harris in attendance there. Now, um, it, that to me says that the threat is more than imminent, that it's uh, probably already started and it's on its way. There are rumors around right now that Iran has perfected a nuclear weapon. And... Uh, be that as it may, they may decide they're going to use it, but they are seeking retaliation against Israel right now for uh, their own atrocities. And uh, I, I don't know what else to say. World War III could be that close by. And then we've got Hurricane Debbie making its way up uh, the Florida coast, and it's going to cross into Georgia and up through the Carolinas, and it's supposed to uh, uh, make its presence known right here in North Carolina uh, probably Wednesday or Thursday of this week, and we will be in for a ton of rain. Now, it's uh, wind and stuff like that that comes along with a uh, hurricane, um, I don't imagine it's going to be a hurricane by the time it gets all the way up to North Carolina. It'll be a, a tropical storm or maybe even a tropical depression, but that doesn't mean we won't get a bunch of rain, and we need to be ready for that. So we've got that kind of a, a double whammy going on there with the potential for World War III, the potential for a nuclear Iran to do something very foolish, <laughs> and we've got what's going on in the stock market. Now, over the last couple of days, the last two trading sessions, Thursday and Friday, um, it, it can be defined, at least as far as the NASDAQ goes, that uh, we are definitely in a correction mode. Well, there are various steps to leading us right into a recession and or depression. And uh, uh, having one of the major indices find itself in a correction, which means I think 10% uh, drop from its high, recent high point, um, what I'm seeing today in the uh, um, uh, future market, and it's um, 9.30 right now, 
as I'm uh, filming this. So I'm going to go look and see what uh, has been going on. So right now, the Dow um, appears to be down almost 1,100 points. And uh, NASDAQ is down um, over 900 points right now. And it doesn't look like it's going to get any better. Now, as far as a percentage goes, um, the Dow is down almost 3, 2.8. And the NASDAQ is down five and a half points. So if we're already in a correction mode at 10%, you add another 5% on top of that and it gets compounded, we could be in a real pickle from an economic standpoint. The S&P is down right now uh, 4%. So they're already in... Um, dire straits, to say the least. So that's uh, um, all the good news that I've got uh, for this morning. Um, I think we're going to have to make sure that we have our hatches buttoned down, that we've got what we're going to need right close by, whether it's uh, food, water, shelter, uh, a means for property and self-defense. Uh, it, it, we've got to take a look at that and double down on anything that we can do right now as this week starts unfolding. I don't have a good feeling about what's uh, potentially going to happen. There are so many different theories out there and what, what may or may not happen but uh, with the uh, campaign season um, doing what it's doing right now, where we've got Joe Biden um, suspending his campaign, fading into the background, and uh, the media and the Democrats are pushing Kamala Harris out like she's the, the next Barack Obama or something, um, tell her to run on a record, and we'll have to see how that stacks up right now. The left is uh, going crazy. They're enjoying this uh, um, attention that they're getting right now, and uh, they are relishing in it, which is why we're not really getting a whole lot about um, Harris's VP pick. Oh, there's rumors and uh, this and uh, Facebook posts and all this kind of stuff going on where people are speculating about what's going to happen. But I think she's going to try to ride this out for as long as she can before she makes a commitment. The Democrat National Committee uh, convention is going to be uh, up in a couple of weeks or so. She hasn't done a press conference and she's been the presumed nominee and now I guess um, the official Democrat Party candidate for the presidency in 2024. Um, She's just going to drag it out for as long as she can. And the more positive press she gets from the uh, left-wing media, the better off she's going to be. The polls are all over the place. They're crazy. Uh, uh, too many of them just don't make sense. They're oversampling. They're asking the wrong questions. They're doing things wrong. Um, I don't know what Donald Trump is up to right now, but he's been kind of conspicuously quiet uh, for the last few days, uh, and it may be just that he's trying to sit back and let the uh, idiots um, shoot themselves in the foot. We'll see. But this is, uh, I think, going to be the most consequential week we have faced in a long, long time. So we've got to take a look at ourselves and our preparations. This is the Prepared Suburbanite reminding you to be prepared always, and I'll see you all on the next video.